The Jefferson County Fair in full swing. Grassroots Americana in a rural corner of a swing state, it feels a million miles from the Democratic Convention. But in a spot where Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders squeezed Hillary Clinton out of the primaries, they're sending her a searing message. In this barn, the farmers have a whole host of reasons not to vote for her, and two of them are registered Democrats. I love the way that she handled herself when everything went on in the White House with her husband. But um, everything that's gone on since then, there's been too many, I'm, I hate to say it, but I feel like there's been too many lies. And from her husband, an opinion few might be so frank to articulate. I guess, you know, I'm old school, I'm a dairy farmer, so I don't know if you go to the Middle East what them countries would think of a, a woman leader of the United States, how that would be handled and how the respect for that would be. Would you sooner send your mother or your father to go deal with a bully? In, in my mind, you go send your father. No. Down at the fair's demolition derby, a metaphor just too irresistible for such bruising times in US politics. Both Trump and Clinton battered by becoming their party's least liked candidates in modern presidential history. Everyone knew this was going to be one of the dirtiest and most bitter fights for the White House in decades, but few were prepared for quite such a race to the bottom as this. Among the Democrats here, many are saying that they'll vote for Hillary Clinton because she is, as they see it, the lesser of two evils. And that's a line we've heard again and again. People that don't like her here, don't like her here. It's not tepid, it's either yes or no. When Democrat Congress hopeful Kerith Taylor is on the doorsteps of Jefferson, it's difficult for her to even mention Clinton's name. But as a Bernie Sanders supporter, she's now happy to fall in behind her and wants others to do the same. She has my vote and my colleagues' votes. It's just our job to make sure that she beats Trump because that's a very frightening outlook. And what about the young women of Jefferson County? The generation above them raised on the feminist struggle might want Clinton to break through the final glass ceiling, but for them, a woman on the presidential ticket just isn't a big deal. I'm a big feminist, but I don't feel like she stood for feminist values the way Bernie did. She doesn't sound very genuine when she talks. I'm not for abortion. I am for guns and just everything, I'm against everything she's for. I would love to see a woman president, just not Hillary. I think all politics are toxic. I mean, it's a constant battle between the two. I mean, even before they figure out who the candidates are going to be, they're fighting at each other's necks already. So probably just not going to vote for either of them. <laughs> In Jefferson and across the US, Clinton knows getting the young Democrats who overwhelmingly went for Bernie Sanders on her side is now crucial. In a race she could never have dreamt could be so difficult, Hillary Clinton has a hill to climb. Julie Etchingham, News at 10, Pennsylvania.